We believe any dish can be made at exquisite levels of quality if you really care about it. Modernist cuisine is both about modern style food, but also very traditional style food that can be made better or more conveniently uh, in a new way. So we cover things like the ideal way to make a hamburger. We looked at every layer of that burger, from the bun, the cheese, the ketchup, the garnish, the patty, obviously, that's a very important one. And we took it layer by layer. The buns, it had to be that perfect balance between a, that sort of delicate sweetness of a, a traditional hamburger bun, where it doesn't overwhelm uh, the rest of the, of the components, but also is interesting and has that you know, just ideal fluffy texture. The cheese was constructed, so we have access to uh, different emulsifiers and emulsifying salts, in this case, um, a combination of sodium hexametaphosphates and some carrageenans, carrageenans being uh, seaweed extracts that help to gel uh, dairy. That are, um, and so we created uh, what, what people uh, love in an American cheese slice, which is that how fluid it is and unctuous, but recreating it from delicious cheese, so uh, gruyere, like a really good aged gruyere or some cheddar. Um, uh, people will have experiences when they put a slice of cheddar on their uh, cheeseburger it breaks down and you have the oil, and if you've ever experienced this, the, the oil kind of splits out and it, and it has the flavor, but the texture is just not right. So we were able to create that perfect texture with really good cheese. The patty, grinding the meat um, and, and molding it uh, as it comes out of the grinder and keeping the strands uh, parallel so that when you bite into the hamburger, it's just a very even uh, bite and so it stays very juicy. Um, and that's uh, molded and frozen and then sliced on a bandsaw. So you have these just very even looking patties. Uh, after that, uh, we, we took the experiments quite a bit further and we worked with a, a technique called uh, cryo frying. It's where you cook uh, a food, whether it's sous vide or traditionally, um, but just until it's cooked through. And then you sear it uh, by first dipping it in liquid nitrogen to freeze the surface. Um, and then frying it in very hot oil. And what happens uh, during that process is that the surface that was frozen thaws, but the very outside browns, so you get this beautiful crust, but you don't get that, that uh, gradients that you're used to in traditional searing. Um, so everything's very juicy, everything's very even, but you get this very intense caramel caramelization or Maillard reaction on the, on the meat. So with the burger, we cook it sous vide, um, uh, but we don't vacuum seal just in a Ziploc bag with butter so that you don't collapse the structure of the, the patty to 53 Celsius, that's uh, it's just like basically rare. And then uh, follow that cryo fry process. And it's quite, a, quite an amazing patty. All the textures that you want, all the flavors, uh, very juicy, very tender. Overall, this process takes about 36 hours. And I think there's something really cool about that. Now there's people who say, well, did you really need to put all that effort onto a hamburger? And we say, if you love hamburgers, it's kind of cool knowing what the ultimate burger is. And maybe you don't have that ultimate burger every day, maybe you never have it, but it's still cool to know what the ultimate burger is.